Hello, my young brothers and sisters. I'm grateful for the opportunity to meet with you today. For those of you who don't know me uh, already, I'm Brother Wooly. I'm joined here today by my three friends, Percy the Primary Panda, Pip the Primary Pickle, and Posy the Primary Poisson. If Harvey were here today, I'd put the fish on his head. They'll be watching me very closely today, making sure that everybody, including me, is reverent and participating. I've missed our times together in person. I'm confident that the time will come soon where we'll be able to meet again in person and of equal importance collectively raise our voices in praise to our Heavenly Father through song. Today I want to share with you a personal story uh, that I had when I was younger. I now consider this story to be a special, experience, a special spiritual experience for me. While at a youth activity in my youth, where we gathered to watch church videos, I remember the warm and special feelings I received while watching a video about the story of the Prophet Joseph Smith. The video now wasn't of great quality, but I was brought to tears by the message behind it. I now recognize that feeling as the spirit touching my heart testifying to me that Joseph's story is true. So the video started off with Joseph's searching for truth. It said something to the effect that after Jesus and all of his apostles died, his true church and priesthood were not on the earth anymore. So this means that there was no Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints when Joseph Smith was a boy. Joseph wanted to go to church and desired to know which church was true and which one to join. So he went into a field near his home and prayed to God. Heavenly Father and Jesus appeared to him and told him to join none of the churches, but to restore Jesus' true gospel, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, to the earth. I knew that when I saw this image, the one that I just showed you, that Joseph Smith did in fact see God the Father and his Son Jesus Christ in the sacred grove. And because of that, I received my first witness of the truths taught me by my family and teachers of my childhood. We too can pray to Heavenly Father about anything we need, or ask Him questions, or just when we want to say thanks, or tell Him we had a good or a bad day. Today we're going to sing a song about prayer. Just as Joseph prayed to God, we can too, and He will answer our prayers too. God 
the Father and the Son, while I appear to heavenly beings, God the Father and the Son. Joseph, this is my beloved, hear him, O oh, how sweet the word. Joseph's humble prayer was answered, and he listened to the Lord. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom, for he saw the living God. Oh, what rapture filled his bosom, for he saw the living I want to bear you my testimony of the prophet Joseph Smith. I know that 200 years ago, as a boy, he had a question. He prayed to God and he received his answer. He then went into the sacred grove and knelt and prayed. And at that time, he witnessed God the Father and his son Jesus Christ and was given information on what he needed to do in his life to better serve his heavenly Father. I know that we can receive answers to our prayers if we search, ponder, and pray. Spirit song.